All right. Welcome, team. Thanks so much for joining us uh, today. My name is Jake. I'm the founder and the CEO of Pept. And today I'm super lucky because I'm here with Nige. And um, Nige has an amazing story, which we're about to hear about. And uh, I can't wait to get right into it with you, mate. And uh, thanks so much for joining us today. Awesome. Looking forward to it. All right, let's do it. So, Nige, let's start from the start, mate. Tell us a little bit about your story. Now, you've had an incredible weight loss story. You've been a client of Pept, and then now you've been a trainer of Pept, and now you're a sales manager uh, at one of our locations, and you're, you're yep. crushing it and doing a great job. Yep. And uh, high five to you, sir, <laughs> and all of your hard work. Um, but tell us kind of, you're obviously in not such a great spot not that long ago in the scheme of uh, life. So tell us kind of what you were doing before PEPT and before your weight loss journey and kind of how you got into that position. Yeah, cool. Basically, um, the family genes have been against me my whole life. We come from, from a family of fatties. Um, battled the bulge, yo-yo diet, up, down, tried this, tried that, pretty much tried every fad diet that came out on the market. Mm -hmm. Obviously, none of them worked. Um, also, you know, lack motivation, lack self-confidence. I was always the fat kid without the girlfriend in the group of friends. Um, very, very, very low self-esteem. Mm -hmm. um, for the last, basically the last 12 years, I'm um, interstate truck driver, up mm -hmm. until January this year, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, June last year, I jumped on the scales and I hit 150 kilos and just the massive switch in the flick flick of the switch just went no i mean something's got to change so hmm. yeah off i went started my journey then a sudden thing for you it was just one day or was it building up over a period of time it was building up yeah like the last few months of being on the highway i was trying to be conscious of losing weight and, and whatnot but yep. it was virtually impossible so it was it was leading into that but yeah just this one day just jumped on the scales and I knew I'd gained and I'd been gaining, but I, I was staying away. So I just took the bullet one day and said, look, yeah. I've, got to, I've got to find out what's going on. And yeah, I was pretty shocked when I stepped on the scales. Yeah. Wow. Mm. And tell us how much weight have you lost uh, up to this point now? Just short of 50 kilos. Wow. And that's in well, a bit over 12 months? Just over 12 months. Yep. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. And Walk us through that. So what were the steps from you making that decision? And uh, obviously now 50 kilos later, what was the first step for you? Was there something before Pept or did you just come down and get started? What was it? No, there was. There was I joined the gym at um, local, just near home at Yamanto. Um, started seeing, a, went and did some one-on-one -on -one PT, yep. um, which was cool. Lost about 25 kilos. Mm -hmm. um, but true to form, the old habits started to, to roll back in. The lack of motivation, going to the gym, but not really going. Um, and yeah, I just, I just felt as though the old merry-go-round effect was happening again. So again, the, the switch flicked and, and I knew something had to change and something had to yeah. keep going. You made some changes, but we're kind of relapsing a little bit. Yep. And then you found an ad on Facebook or what happened? Yep, yep. yep. saw the, the ad of uh, Pept on Facebook for the challenge. Cool. Um, like the videos, I like the idea of the group fitness because training on your own just wasn't doing it for me. Yep. So yeah, come on down, um, signed up, did my info session, signed up and yeah, off I went with the six week challenge. Fantastic. And tell us about that because this is something now that you've stuck to for yep. a long time, right? So you've been yep. around peps now for the best part of a year. Yep. Right. First as a client for the, you know, the first half of that, I guess. And then uh, secondly, now as part of the team. So yep. you made some massive life changes going from, uh, you know, unhealthy, overweight truck driver to now, you know, personal trainer, helping other people. I guess yep. a huge shift to make in 12 months, right? <laughs> in your case, yeah. it's less than 12 months. So Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, is, it is less than 12 months because I've got all my memories coming up on Facebook at the moment. Week three yeah. challenge and all that sort of all stuff. Right. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, basically, it was week two to three in the challenge. Um, I'd, I'd fallen in love with Pep. Um, I fell in love with the trainers. I fell in love with the members. Just basically everything Pep was about. It. Mm. I felt this shift then. And talking to the manager of the location that time, Chantel, um, you know, I, I felt this passion, this desire. I needed to be a part of this. It was, mm. it was this is what I was born to do. I'd found, I'd found my calling without yeah. even sort of realising if, if that doesn't sound too corny. No, not at all. 
I, I get it. You're talking yeah. to the converted here. Yeah. Um, so that's amazing. And tell us what about it? Like what about kind of pepped versus going to the gym that you were already going to? What's the difference? So if someone's sitting at home here, like aren't all gyms the same? Like what have you experienced to be the difference? Well, I don't even like calling pep the gym mm. because you say gym and straight away you think stigma, bad vibes, mm. bad jujus, douchebags standing around, weight machines and, and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. For me, it's a community. It's, it's the support you get from the trainers. I've, I've had quite a few personal trainers over my time and none have compared to, to what we get here at PEP. The, the support, the motivation, just, it, they just go above and beyond. And I think that's why I needed to be a part of it because it, it's just something so special. It really is. Yeah. That's awesome, mate. Yeah. And so from your, your story, you know, you kind of made that decision pretty early on and you decided, right, I need to be a PT. And I think I remember having a conversation with you because you were thinking, oh, I have to, you know, look a certain way or be a certain way before yep. I can start my course. Yep. I kind of spoke about, no, you just got to kind of do it and yep. uh, start moving in that direction. And, and I think there's probably a lot of people that feel the same way about exercise, right? Or, or yep. coming down and doing something like our challenge at PEPT or becoming one of our members and joining the team. Uh, and they probably sit there and think, well, I've got to get myself a bit fit before I start. What would you say to those people? Rubbish. Just do it. Just do it. Dude, mate, take the step. It is, it is a decision you are not going to regret. Yeah. 100% confidence in that. Yeah, unreal. And what do you find is, you know, now you're, you're literally doing that role where you actually help people get started. So this is an interesting because not long ago, you were that person, right? Yeah. Starting. <laughs> yeah. It's come full circle. Um, what are the most common things that you're trying to help people overcome in order for them to make a decision to get started? Um. Generally, it's, it's timeline based or the, you know, the excuse I don't have time or I don't have this or it's the lack of motivation or it's, it's, I can't pinpoint one. There's, there's a, a combination I've found over the last six weeks. It's the nutrition. It's, you know, the, you start off strong, you, you go for a couple of weeks and then you fall off the bandwagon because you don't have that, that accountability. You don't have that push yeah. Or, you know, you, you think you're eating the right stuff, but you're not, you don't have the, the meal plan, you know, mm. you, you think you're working out right, but you're not sort of targeting the right sort of muscle groups and stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a combination well, the of... There's lots of things and that's, yeah. you know, and when you go and join a, a typical gym where you pay a fee to have access to the shiny equipment, but not a lot of yeah. expertise, yep. right? not a lot of uh, actual help is you run into one of these obstacles and the obstacle becomes insurmountable. Yep. And then you give up, mm -hmm. right? Or like in your case, you start going backwards. Yep. Right? Whereas when somebody comes to PEPT and they hit one of those obstacles, like, you know, I'm not uh, motivated right now or I've missed a few sessions. Like if someone misses a few sessions at PEPT, what do we do? Well, first thing, we're on the phone. You know, yeah, where are you? Calling, what, yeah. What's going on? We're calling, yeah. you know, is everything okay? Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, we, we get them back in and sit down and talk to them and say, hey, listen, you know, what, what's going on? How, how can we help you beyond the nutrition and the training? How can we help you outside of, out of PEP, outside of what's going on? Yeah, 100%. So, like, that whole um, community that you were talking about before, right? Yeah. That word yeah. that you used there uh, is so important, right? Because, you know, as human beings, we are mammals we're you know herd creatures we need people around us who want the same things as us and plugging into that community of support and yep. help and having somebody in your corner massive difference right absolutely so, um it's kind of like having a personal trainer uh without the big personal training fees yeah i i spent close to three thousand dollars between june and christmas on gym fees and personal trainers mm, mm. So it's, it's a ridiculous amount of money. Yeah, absolutely. So you can plug in. Um, so in terms of what you experienced when you started with us, like what are the biggest points of value that you found that helped you on your journey? Like from the sessions to the accountability to the nutrition help, what were the things that really made a difference for you? Like what could someone expect when they come down to see us? A fun workout environment. 
Mm. Yeah, you get pushed, you know, the trainers push you to your limits, but it's, it's in a fun, supportive, motivating kind of way. Like you, you make friends. There's some friends I've made here in the last 12 months that they're going to be friends until the day I die. It's just, yeah. you, don't, you don't join a gym, you join a community, you join a family. It's everybody, everybody's got similar sort of goals. Everybody wants to help each other. And like I said before, the trainers and the accountability coaches go above and beyond what's mm. expected of them to help you achieve your goals and, and keep you on track that's cool and like you know it's easier to stick to something that's enjoyable and fun right absolutely yep cool well mate i uh, really appreciate all your time and answering our questions i've got one last yep. question for you and yep. uh, that is there's probably a lot of people sitting at home watching this video who um have been thinking about doing something for a while all right yep. well maybe they've tried things in the past and they're worried about hey you know, I've tried everything, nothing works for me, et cetera. What would you say to those people that are sitting on the fence about, you know, um, giving us a call and coming in and trying it out? So, oh, sorry, dude, hang on. Oh, your phone's cut out. Yeah, I got, there, there we go. Sorry, I had a, had a call come in. Um, I'd say just, just do it. Take the chance, take the gamble. It is going to be the best decision you ever make. I sat on the couch suffering in my willows for about four weeks before I did something and mm -hmm. you just, you've just got to do it. You know, trust, you need to do it. You want to do it. Don't listen to the inner, uh, the, the limiting beliefs. Listen mm -hmm. to the, the, the powerful beliefs, your, your empowering beliefs. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. So listen to the, the positive wolf on the shoulder, not the negative wolf. Absolutely. Be the positive one. Okay, mate, that's yeah. fantastic. Thanks so much for your time. Now, if you're awesome. one of those people sitting at home, and um, wondering, should I do this or not? The answer is yes, you should. All right, so what you need to do is just click the link, put your details in, and you'll go, your information will come through to us. One of our team, uh, if you're in the Ipswich area, it'll be Nige himself. Uh, if you're in another area, one of our other team will give you a call, have a chat, organize the time to sit down with you and see how we can help you, okay? Because the path is slightly different for each person. That's what we're here to do, to help you with our expertise and uh, support and help you on the journey. So thank you, Nige. Thanks, Dave. Thank you, everyone, for uh, tuning in and, and watching. And uh, we'll see you in the, in the gym as part of our community very, very soon. Okay, bye. There, guys.